Welcome to Hope Fest 2021. I'm Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis, but my friends all call me Kat, so I hope you will too. When Dennis Patelko of Biz Catalyst 360 Magazine invited me to be part of Hope Fest 2021, I was honored and began wondering what I could possibly share to give hope to a world coming out of the normal struggles of life challenged even further by COVID-19. And then it came to me, sharing laughter. Laughter in the face of fear and uncertainty. Uncertainty can really give us hope for a joyful future. What is it about laughter that is so important? Well, number one, it's really contagious. Anyone hearing laughter begins to laugh. And then they ask, so what's so funny? Number two, it empowers everyone by raising that spiritual vibration. And three, it's addicting. Yes, it's addictive. What, why do we laugh? Why do we love to laugh? Well, because laughter releases our body's endorphins. And that is known as our natural and scientifically measurable happy pills. So to explain the importance of laughter for hope and joy in 2021, I want to share a laughable story with you. I'm a three-time breast cancer survivor, 
And when I was going through surgery, chemotherapy, all that good stuff, um, and radiation therapy, I met this incredible British author, and her name was Petronelle Cook. Now using example, Petronelle mentored and taught me about the power of laughter in life. She would share the most dire information you can imagine with me while she was laughing. So um, one day I, I went over to her house to visit her and she says to me laughing, the doctor says I'm going blind. Now this woman is an author, so for her to go blind means she can no more, no longer see the keyboard to type and she can't read her writing. It's like the kiss of death. And she's laughing as she's telling me this and she's wiggling her fingers. And then she says, but I'm teaching my fingers how to read braille now. Well, at first I was concerned for her sanity as I'm listening to her tell me this while she's laughing. Um, you know, I'm, and then I found that I was actually laughing with her. Despite the fact that this was horrible news, I was laughing with her. And that's when I saw the wisdom in her response. Life may take her sight, but it was not going to take her joy. Her joy was within her. Happiness is something that we have outside of us, but joy is something that we carry around with us in our heart. And eventually, Petronelle did die of old age, but she was not blind. So that, that kind of brings the question, did her laughter chase away the boogeyman named blindness? Maybe, but it definitely chased away her fear. You know, I still see Petronelle in my dreams, sitting in her living room in her big blue overstuffed rocking chair, laughing hysterically at the evening news. So as we reflect on 2020, let's do that reflection with a little chuckle of wisdom. Hey, we made it. We survived 2020. So let's make 2021 a year of hope through joy and laughter. Spread these seeds of joy and they will actually grow and arm us with the laughter that we can use in the face of fear. If laughter could help heal Petronelle's eyes and my cancer, I believe it can heal the whole world. So for Hope Fest 2021, let's laugh till it heals. Hi everybody, I'm Steve. I'm the director of Meals on Wheels of Tampa and Happy New Year, a hope-filled new year to each of you. My hope for a brighter year in 2021 is that we can treat every person of every color, of every race, of every creed with the dignity and respect that we all deserve. Be it seniors who we care for at Meals on Wheels or, or all around our country. And my hope for us individually is that each of us can draw on the inner resources we all have to remain hope-filled, faith-filled, joy-filled. We've been through a heck of a year, but those inner resources will enable us to look at 2021 with the hope and faith and joy we all deserve. God bless everyone. Have a great new year. Hello, my name's Eddie. I'm from England and the UK. What would I like for next year? What I'd like for next year is everybody to be a little bit more considerate about the people around them and to try and enhance someone else's life by doing something positive with um, anything. Just helping somebody out and just saying hello would be nice and making someone feel included. Thank you. For the new year, let us begin by mending divided hearts and moving towards alignment, understanding, kindness, and respect. Begin by choosing compassion and love over fear of differences, which lead to hateful thoughts, words, and actions. It is a choice, and it needs to become a conscious choice so that we can start 
bridging the divide that has afflicted us all. This, my friends, is my hope for the new year. The things that I really would like to see um, for 2021 in change is, first of all, we have to realize the first thing is that the United States is still the greatest country on earth. And I think um, when people start realizing that, it'll change on how they view change. And I think the first thing that needs to be changed, um, we have to admit that as a nation, we are far from where we need to be. Um, but change is more than just holding a sign or saying that there need to be change. There needs to be change within us. And I think that's where it starts, is where we can go individually and say, where can I change myself? And what differences can I make within my community? And then I believe it would go from family. And I'm hoping that families realize, again, that there needs to be change within families. There needs to be hope put back into families and um, joy and love. And then that can transfer into your local community. And I think that's where we hopefully, I think we're going to see the most change in 2021 is within our um, own cities, own communities. Uh, that's gonna make a bigger change in our life than any um, big government uh, can be. Now we can all probably agree that we are far from where we need to be um, as a nation. However, um, until we realize those things. And that's what my hope is. I'm hoping that also we can put God in things that we have taken him out of. We have decided that we're taking him out of everything and we're seeing the repercussions of that. And clearly, no matter what your beliefs are, most of us would agree that the situation that we're in right now isn't working. And um, to try something new, to try something different, and that is putting God back into those places that we have taken him out of. Um, but again, this is still, I'm, I'm hoping that people realize that there's something to fight for here. The hope um, of the U.S. is still there. God's blessing is still on the U.S. Um, and things certainly could be a lot worse than they are now, even though we can all agree again that there are so much that we can change. And that's that. <laughs> And not by sight And forget the break Cause the gas pedal's on the right No hesitating It's time to be brave It's gonna be great Today is the day There's a dream down in your soul to live fearless. Don't be afraid, just let it out. Crank up the stereo, sing it out loud. You got to think every moment counts to live fearless. Tear off the rear view. Don't look back and sing in the shower and bust out and dance Sending that hourglass It's moving so fast You never know